yesterday. Or, yeah, and we'll see what the belt score is and the new belt score. Um, but I think it'll be much better. He's, um, he just seems so healthy. Like, his skin is so nice. And his hands are warm. And just his body, everything just seems so healthy about him. He doesn't believe it yet because he hasn't seen the tests yet, but we'll see what the tests are. But he's mostly doing uh, Chinese herbs that are recommended for cirrhosis and um, Gaia milk thistle and maybe I'll post the protocol below. But I'm just very grateful to Chinese medicine for figuring all this out. Like, I was just thinking to myself, oh, we got some deer antler, which can be good for cirrhosis. He just needs to make sure he doesn't have cancer before using that, but he's got some tests and scans and things to confirm, uh, rule it out. But I just think it's amazing. They, like, one of these herbs we're using, the herbal blend, I don't know, Zhao Yao Sun or something, has been around for 900 years. They invented it, like, in 11 or something. And literally, we're having this deer antler made in, in, in over there right now, and it's so powerful, and I just think it's amazing that in, like, you know, t TCM, someone was just like, I'm just gonna go eat that shit off of that deer's antlers. Like, I'm just gonna go eat that, see what happens. Like, I think that's just so cool how much experimentation they did and how many things they discovered, and just, it's technology. It's really biotechnology. Chinese medicine is biotechnology. Even acupuncture, there's published research on the biochemical effects of different acupuncture points. They do it on animals and stuff, so there's no placebo effects. Animals don't know what the hell acupuncture is. I'm cursing so much, I just lose my filter when I'm stressed. But yeah, also on my side, so with my issues, I'm going through Bartonella treatment. I was on an adrenaline high. I was just running on adrenaline for the week. I did not sleep very much while I was so worried about my husband. Just want to be constantly researching, didn't even want to sleep. Only slept a few hours a day. Just like I would just wake up, my body would just wake me up, and I, I wanted to like keep working on it. I felt great that week, but now I'm like coming down from that high, and I'm like having some symptoms come back. So I'm glad I got plenty of herbs and stuff to keep me going as like the caretaker and stuff. So anyway, Chinese herbs are keeping us going. We're also looking at stem cells. There's research on that. It's super expensive, but it, you know, it does have profound effects. Um, and he's gonna start seeing uh, root and branch Chinese medicine. That was highly recommended to us. They do telemedicine out of Portland. So I will put some posts, I'll put some links to stuff he's doing. He also has a PEMF device for Oxford Medicals, which is a good source for them. And uh, he loves that. He's used to using a bunch of ozone, the same stuff I use. He's been doing the ear ozone. I can't get him to do rectal ozone. I don't, I'm not pushing him too hard because I don't even use that myself right now. He's doing coffee on a minute, which was a hard sell, but he's managing to do those. So he's doing a bunch of things, and um, it's going so fantastic. I'm really floored by how fast he's turning around. So we'll see how fast the, um, you know, it takes a long time to like actually reorganize your lower cells. So that part could take a while. We'll see how his progress goes in his scans and stuff. But I'm like, oh man, I'm so grateful for all this stuff. And I'm grateful that I knew about it so I could implement it really fast because I was like, Every day counted, you know, when you have a, apparently a 6% death risk in three months is what his mold score said. Mold score was at least 14. We only had two of the data points, bilirubin and creatinine. We didn't even have the other tests for that day. Um, I'm pretty sure they were fucked up too because his, his clotting, he had a bunch of broken blood vessels, so probably his INR was, was high. Um, some other stuff might have been messed up, but we don't even... He didn't even get tested that day, it was just a uh, life insurance test, they only did certain tests. So, but with those bilirubin and creatinine they have, the lowest the score is going to, the score could have been is 14. No matter what the values are that you put in for the other ones, it's 14 or higher uh, for the MELT score. So that was pretty scary, so you will see what his new MELT score is and see how he's doing. And we're doing a lot of research trying to figure out what doctor to use, because like, use conventional medicine that much but it's just something serious enough that we should so I'm trying to figure out like who to pick and we might need to go out of out of state for it because we don't have a whole lot of hepatologists here and our one clinic that we have is like having legal issues because of some stupid California law so they're not even taking patients right now so um anyhow I better go so.